What's good? It's me, J. King, a.k.a. Coach OG. Shout out to all my OGs, OHG, O-Head Gang. Shout out to the IQ Ballers in the Clamp Camp. Yo, got another replica bill for y'all. It's the legendary Hall of Famer, Isaiah Thomas. That's right. The, the original point guard. The Detroit Pistons leader, a.k.a. Zeke. Let's get into it. Choose whatever name you choose. You know me, man. Royalty in my name. So, J. King, it is position point guard hand he was right-handed and his number was number 11 in case you didn't know he's part of the bad boys pistons so you know what i'm saying if you're gonna be a bad boy piston you gotta play a little gritty you gotta play some defense so let's get into it we're gonna see what it is in a minute let's go height 6 1 weight 180 wingspan 6 6 and go whatever body shape you choose but you know me man i'm a real life gym rat so i gotta go with the fine close shot 87 Driving layup, 92. That's right, my man had a nice driving layup. Driver dunk, 57. We ain't gonna be doing too much with that, but that gives you 19 finishing badges. More than enough. All right, my fat, let's see. Let's look into it. We get gold uh, Phyllis finishing. For those of you who like to time your layups, we get a uh, Hall of Fame on the Pro Touch. But it's recommended that you just go bronze because it's not that much uh, of an increase from that just to save some badge points. But you also get Hall of Fame Giant Slayer, which isn't, isn't hard to do. Gold Acrobat. Gold fast twitch and gold slittery finisher. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, but slittery finisher is on, excuse me, tier three. So going down to shooting, 88 on the mid range. As you know, back then, that's that's what they was doing back then. That's, they were shooting mainly mid ranges. They weren't too many three point shooters back then. It was mainly mid ranges. You know what I'm saying? So 88 on the mid range, 80 on the three point. So that means you got a pretty good three ball too. Don't, don't get it twisted. You still can shoot the three. And 74 on the free throw. That gives us 23 finishing badges. You see all that purple in there. You know what I'm saying? You got a couple goals. We got what we need right there. Trust me. Going down to playmaking, 90 on the pass accuracy, so that means you can get that Jason Williams pass style. That's my favorite pass style. It's not always the most efficient, I'm not going to lie to you, but it is pretty up there as far as efficiency. It's not the most efficient, but it is up there as far as like top, maybe like top three, probably even top two uh, best pass styles. But it's the most exciting to watch. It's, the fun, it's a fun pass style. I love it. But 90 pass accuracy, 89 on the ball handle, and 86 on the speed with ball. And that gives us 26 playmaking badges going out of defense going 32 on the interior 88 on the perimeter defense that you so you know you get silver clamp off that uh we got 79 on the steel uh then we got uh 27 on the block 27 on the offensive rebound and 43 on the defensive rebound and that gives us 19 defensive badges so pretty good and by the way, y'all, don't forget, you get plus four. Once you do the Welcome to the League quest, you get plus four. So you can put that four anywhere. But we're going to get into those badges in a minute. Speed, 85. Acceleration, 85. So my man is quick. You know what I'm saying? He was definitely quick back then, too. You know what I'm saying? Don't get it twisted. This ain't just no hype. 55 on the strength, 79 on the vert, and 90 on the, on the, on the stamina. Now let's go ahead and keep it moving. Now, as far as takes go, you get the shot takes, the sharp takes, the play takes, the lock takes. I mean, first of all, you can't be a bad boy piston without being a lock, man. They were known for defense. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know, I might have to do a reaction on that. Let me know in the comments if I should do a reaction on maybe some bad boy piston highlights. They were gritty. If you don't know, they were gritty. You know what I'm saying? But I went with the ankle breaking shots and the limitless range. You can go whatever you want. It will not affect the build name, by the way. You know what I'm saying? It just depends on how you play. You know what I'm saying? Stick to what you like. So Earl Monroe, the Aaron Fox, and Darius Garland. You know what I'm saying? My man Earl Monroe, a uh, uh, bullet slash Washington. I can't say Wizards. They went to Wizards time. But he a Bullets legend, bro. He a Bullets legend. And, and Jersey up in the Raptors and all. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to Earl Monroe. And there we go, man. We got Zeke. AKA or better known as Isaiah Thomas. Let's go. Let's get into these badges, man. This right here is definitely a dope point guard build. You know what I'm saying? Now that y'all figuring out that these shorter guards actually are worth it. You know what I'm saying? They all everybody wanna do the 6'9 thinking that these shorter guards ain't worth it. I've been running with the short guards since the beginning and I only made one big guard because it was requested. So I have one big point guard, 6'9 point guard on my roster. The rest are 6'3 and below. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's get into it. So we're going to go Acrobat. Uh, let's go, go ahead and put Acrobat. You know what I'm saying? All the way up to the goal. Go Phyllis finish all the way up to the goal. Um, we're going to go Giant Slayer. 
Hall of Fame. And then we gonna go slithery. You know what I'm saying? Hold on. You know what? We don't need to finish it up that high. So we gonna do this right here. Damn, we gonna go put Phyllis finisher up. You know what I'm saying? We caught a we caught a slowly finisher. And look, look, look at that. We still got five. We still got five. We might as well go fast twitch on them too. You know what I'm saying? Or like I said, for those of you who like to time your your witch con, there you go. Go. You know what I'm saying? Just just cuz. You can go, like I said, keep it at bronze. And then uh you really ain't got too much else to put it on, but you know what I'm saying? You can put bad balls if you want to, and then you know, something else masher, maybe. I don't know. You ain't gonna have too many shorter than you, so really kinda pointless. But personally i don't time my my, my witch account because I, I i just can't figure it out uh, so i'm gonna go fast twitch you know what i'm saying for those fast breaks the people throw a little late get it up there quicker than quicker than you you know what i'm saying then they pass it you know what i'm saying i, I get that a lot it, it blows the hell out of me you know what i'm saying but anyway going out of shooting catch a shoe silver uh, let's go Hall of Fame on the Space Creator that has become one of my favorite badges even though I don't use it much but it's a nice little bell out. I use it a lot in the clutch. When people throw me a late pass and decide to give it to me late in the clock then that's when I use it. So, uh, let's go, that's Core Blinders. Core Blinders on gold and we can put Dead Eye on bronze and then come here and put, um, you could use, you could do Green Machine on bronze and oh my god i hate when that happens uh well, well let's do this again all right i i wish they do something about that like i, I just i hate that so much <laughs> said green machine oh wait hold on i can't do that yet let me go down here core first bronze and then we're gonna go here to clutch shooter on bronze all right now you can do that or what you could do is i'll take our green machine and then go claymore claymore go that works too you know what i'm saying so depending on your playing style if you don't shoot too many uh catch and shoot or standing shots then maybe you don't need claymore catch and shoot but you know what i'm saying or if you do catch shoot every once in a while but you more on ball score then i will keep catch and shoot take claymore off and go with green machine you know what i'm saying depends on how you play Let's go ahead to playmaking, you know, off the break, you know what I'm saying? It might not activate much, but it come on handy when it do, so, you know what I'm saying? Off the break, we gotta go Hall of Fame, Ankle Breaker, and definitely go Hall of Fame quick first step. Then we gonna go down here, we gonna core Clamp Breaker, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, let me see, let's go Killer Kyle with gold as well, alright. Uh... Let's see, depending on how y'all play, you can go Unpluckable, you can go Bell Out. Um, I'm, a, I'm a big fan of, of Needle Threader this year. Uh, I'm always down to help my team, so I'm going to go Dimer. And then I'm going to go Hall of, I mean, go Bronze on the Special Delivery. And I might go Silver on Special Delivery. Fat. Let's take Needle Threader down to bronze and then we're gonna throw on Bell Out. Alright. That looks pretty good to me. What y'all think? Let me know in the comments, man. Uh, let's go Ankle Braces, Silver. Let's go Hall of Fame on the workhorse. That opens us up for the next row. And then we're gonna go. That's, that's. You can core Challenger, actually. That's core Challenger. That way you get more points back. We're gonna go. Glove, I mean clamps. Uh, that ain't gonna do nothing either. Maybe I shouldn't go challenger at silver. You know what? We're not gonna core challenger. Actually, no. I guess either way, we're gonna deal with the same thing. Cause I, I think you really should have. I, I, I am a big fan of guards, shorter guards, having challenger as high as you can get it because you know you're not gonna get as much of a contest you know what I'm saying so we might have to do without uh, do without having glove on bronze you know what I'm saying I think you'd be alright or you could really uh, like I said you got your plus four so you get your uh, just two out of your plus four you got glove on bronze and I don't use interceptor one because I don't play the lanes I play the ball and I get more steals on ball, you know what I'm saying? And uh, according to 2K last, uh, 2K2 is one of them. 
they were they did a test and it's kind of really doesn't give you much of a boost until you hit silver or hall of fame so i said not silver but a uh, gold or hall of fame so it's kind of not really worth it really so i, I don't really use it so what we're gonna do with these last three is we just gonna hit bronze on the pick the pick dodger and there you go there you have it that's that's zeke my man the bad boy piston original point god himself you know what I'm saying? AKA the arch enemy of Michael Jordan. You know what I'm saying? If you say seen say the last dance or even just know the history, you know how that is or what that's about. But yeah, man. I think this is actually a dope build. You know, I'm only gonna give y'all the bills that are actually playable. I'm not gonna give y'all no crappy bills. I ain't gonna do them just because of the name. Uh, but I'm gonna give you the ones that got cool names, you know say got decent names, and they are actually playable builds like they actually are pretty good so this is another one of those i think is really really good as a, a a point guard build and you know when you come in with these builds people always ask the questions it draws people attention so you know you like being a little bit of attention and you know this this is definitely one of those builds people love these these random names you know say i come in with the baby boogie or the 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 point guard the chris, which is the chris paul build people love seeing it and they're like oh man what's that da, da, da. they ask a lot of questions so you know what I'm saying? Go ahead, invest you in at least one replica build that fits your style. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I would recommend it personally. But yeah, man, I appreciate y'all for coming through. I always appreciate y'all for giving me a chance. Shout out to my OGs, OHG, O-Head Gang. Shout out to the IQ Ballers and the Clamp Camp. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me sure I'm saying that clearly because y'all ain't been subscribing. So I'm assuming maybe I didn't understand what I was saying. You know what I'm saying? You know, just thought. But uh, yeah, man, y'all know the motto, don't be toxic, and let's bowl.